All right, guys, so we are starting to drill and tap the oil return down here. You can see we drilled a uh, hole through it just for initially. We're going to expand that hole and then eventually expand it to about a half inch size, and then we are going to drill and tap it. So I'll try to get some footage of that. Trying to rock it, you're kind of rocking it. Might need that extra 64. Yeah. Here, move your hand. Okay. I think you're right. Well, it's starting to bite. Yeah. Like it's going well. Yeah, it does. It's from down here, I got a really good view on it too. It's seating nicely, it looks fairly straight. I'm glad I didn't take that out yet. <laughs> <laughs> it just fell on my head. I think we got it. Keep twisting. There it is. Hey guys, Dad's here in the shop helping me drill and tap this oil pan. As you saw just a minute ago, we drilled and uh, tapped the aluminum there. We have our drain fitting here. We ended up using a 14 millimeter with a 1.5 pitch on it. And that seemed to be the exact thread size that we needed for this particular nipple. Yep, and we have, uh, we have rubber grommeted washers going on to hopefully seal that from any potential leaking and a, uh, a thread sealant on there. So. Once that all gets in and cures, uh, we have flushed the hole very, very well with um, some fluid as well as some brake cleaner, and I'm going to uh, flush the oil as well. So let's go ahead and thread this thing in. All right, I think I'll put a little more. Got to be really careful tightening these up because you only have about 3 sixteenths thickness in there, if that, and it's just aluminum, so got to be very, very careful. Well, a nice taut fit. And once that thread sealant 
cures, it'll really help hold everything. Okay. Get a wrench. All right, so this is our our oil port for our oil feed line. This is actually going to be, we actually just had to press this fitting into the center. The easiest way to do it was for us to screw this other one into it and suck it within itself and then we were able to tap it in the rest of the way with a hammer and a block. And so basically just put a socket on each side of it and kind of tightened it right. into this fitting here. Obviously some grease. And then we're going to put this where the oil filter goes and then feed this oil feed line right into the side of that. Which is going to be a a major episode just trying to get that in there because the, it doesn't swivel you have to turn the entire hose with it and then the uh, oil filter will then just screw onto the exterior so pretty simple system in its theory a little more difficult to uh, install so I'm gonna go up underneath the car right now and screw this thing in yeah show. it's filming so. we'll show it from the top side here as he's trying to get down in there Pretty tight quarters. So we got to try to get a socket down in there and turn it the last quarter turn. Or just be a monster. Get it with your bare hand. It might be easier with a wrench from the bottom if you can get a wrench in there. But do you have a wrench that size? Um, you want to have that pretty snug because if yeah. you, when you got to turn off your... Can you hand me the um, crescent wrench please? Want to turn that off just hit the top button. all right so we've uh, we've completed running the oil supply line as well we are in the process of opening up some room for the intercooler pipe from the throttle body down to the uh, passenger side of the intercooler here uh, real quick I'll get a shot underneath to show you that oil supply line and how that comes off the oil filter I got I got I still need to screw the oil filter on there but you can see that feed comes out maybe just a touch kinked right there but that should still flow just fine so you can actually take a pair of pliers and re retwist it squish it back the other way oh good okay you can see just the rough intercooler layout right or piping layout right now and then uh, okay. all right so we'll clean up where we had to cut this out right here this this apron had to be cut out for the pipe to go down in there so we'll clean it up a little bit for today so we got our intercooler piping fully routed we had to hack out this apron right here and then uh, yeah it fits real nice going up to the throttle body there and our mass airflow sensor should plug right in with no problems and uh, had to take the headlight out to cut the apron out yeah with all this HID wiring right down here we had to move that so it won't be 
mounted as it was originally, but I'll put it in a nice safe spot. So our no kit, our no cut kit actually does have some cutting involved, just so you people know. If you knew exactly how that went, you could probably put just a straight hole in there, but it's pretty hard to figure out exactly where it has to go. Yeah, and for access, I think it's nice to have this. Yeah. Cool. And then we got our oil return in.